This song was inspired by the Super Bowl, you know. Here we go. <laughs> Standing in a motel room, looking out at the neon lights. Your fingers traced my lips as we drove through the Paris night. <laughs> First half of this Super Bowl 48 between the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks. Absolutely, Jimmy. <laughs> that one play with the one guy who did that one thing, incredible. <laughs> but the big story of this game is the unfortunate news of Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers having to cancel their halftime show. Yeah, I guess their flight had to be rerouted due to the polar vortex. Oh, man, I really wanted to see Bruno Mars. <laughs> that little fedora wearing jumping bean, I just love it. Fortunately, the producers scrambled and were able to find a last-second replacement just across the Hudson River. Yes, sir. This year's halftime show is going to be performed by some of the best and brightest of Broadway. The show's about to begin, so let's head down to the field. Holy cannoli. Growing up in New Jersey, I never thought I'd ever see a Super Bowl played in my own backyard. Hey, ain't you Peyton Manning? Is it that obvious? <laughs> Today's the big game. Ain't you nervous? <laughs> A little. After all, it is the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. It's Denver and Seattle. Ancient rivals locked in battle. The players are in their costumes. And now it's time for them to travel. And then she walked in. <laughs> ah, face it, Peyton. You can't throw with a darn. Not from where I stand. <laughs> the name's Mama Pass, and I'm the best end quarterback coach this side of 7th Avenue. And I can tell you all you need's a little womp womp. Throw it where they're going and make sure that they're wearing. Whomp, whomp, you're same color jerk, cause if they catch you, you'll be whomp, whomp, scoring all the touchdowns, that's the only way to whomp, whomp, win all the points. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mama Pass, you really think I could win the Super Bowl? Oh, you bet your hand, Muff. Nothing's gonna stop you. Well, don't be so sure of that. Oh, no! Richard Sherman! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ben Vereen. Hello, Peyton. If you're not careful, I'm gonna steal your ball. Here's a tip. Don't throw it where you hear the tap. A tap like this. A tap, 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 and that's what you call an interception. Wait a minute, wait a minute, knock it off, Sherman. Save it for the field, it's game time. <laughs> It's my old injury. 
injury. I thought it healed. Ah, such a fool. Don't, don't speak. Just sing. I guess the game is lost. All you need is womp womp. Suppose I was just too old. Don't you say it, womp womp. At least you're by my side. He's bleeding, womp Time to say goodbye. This is not what I wanted. We're all just strangers on the grass. But we all want... here for the Super Bowl. <laughs> and live from New York, it's Saturday night! It's time to play Family Feud Super Bowl Edition. Here's your host, Steve Harvey! <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, now. Welcome to Celebrity Family Feud. Now, in honor of my meeting with Donald Trump, I'm wearing a Trump tie. Trump ties. Tied so long, they put a little tickle in your pickle. <laughs> now, this is the Super Bowl edition, so we got celebrity New England Patriots fans taking on celebrity Atlanta Falcons fans. And on the Atlanta side, it's Falcons fan and little musical rascal Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, yeah. What's up, Steve? I, I don't know if you heard, but I'm not bad no more. Um, but I can still do this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, next, we got the official voice of the Falcons, Samuel L. Jackson. It's about time we got these mother flipping Falcons in the mother flipping Super Bowl. Hmm. I oh, don't know, it's something different about you, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> okay, next. We got the most famous chef in Georgia and America's leading cause of diabetes, Paula Dean. Yeah, well, I love the Super Bowl. While the boys are throwing around the old pig skin, I'm going to cook up a pig skin and serve it with a side of cheesy fajitos. <laughs> All right. Finally, on the Falcon side, the man who suspended Tom Brady for the plate gate, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Hello, Steve. Now, wait, you really a Falcons fan? Absolutely. Love the Falcons. Doesn't have anything to do with not wanting to give the Super Bowl trophy to Tom Brady. Oh, man. You're going to be watching the game with the same face Obama had while he was watching this year's election. Just like. <laughs> All right, over on the Patriots side, we got Brazilian supermodel and Tom Brady's wife, Giselle Bunchett. Oi, and Tudo Ben. I love the American Super Bowl where millions of people come together to watch TV and eat this garbage. Oh, you know, your name sounds like what my underwear be doing sometimes. <laughs> Giselle Bunch it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got a successful millionaire who dresses like a seventh grade boy. Patriots head coach Bill Belichick. Good evening, Steve. Hey, we're having fun here, right? Bill, cheer up, man. You won six Super Bowls, and I have never seen you laugh. Give me a laugh, Bill. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> All right, next, we got an actor from Massachusetts and an Oscar favorite, Casey Affleck. Um, how you doing, Steve? I, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm doing good, I guess. Uh, excited for the Super Bowl. Um... Go, go Pats and all, right? Oh, my God. You like the first half of a commercial for antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, this year's Super Bowl halftime performer, Lady Gaga. Thank you, Steve. I've got a million reasons my halftime show will rock. They said I can't be political. And don't worry, I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, my God. Seeing you perform for football fans gonna be like if Toby Keith hosted the Tonys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the game. Give me Giselle, give me Justin. Let's get on up here. Uh, hey, girl. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> uh, Justin. 
Justin, I got some bad news for you, player. That don't work on women that's grown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right. <laughs> Top six answers on the board. The Super Bowl is Sunday. Name one thing that you would take to a party. <laughs> Giselle. Cachaca and Caprinias. And what you say about Sasha and Malia? <laughs> no, no, I said Cachaca and Caprinia. They're drinks, to do them. Well, you know, I don't know what you're saying, but you look good saying it. <laughs> Show me goulashes and capers. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it ain't up there. Uh, Justin, what you bring to a party? Um, Steve, I don't uh, party as much because I'm a man now. I got like five little mustache hairs, and I'm bringing them all for you, girl. <laughs> But uh, when, I, when I do party, I'm going to bring my signature cocktail. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Show me juice box. <laughs> hey, number six answer. Okay, the Falcon fans had a boy. All right, Samuel L. Jackson. Something that you bring to a party. Why do I got to bring something? You invited me. That's a stupid-ass question. And I hope you burn in hell. <laughs> Look here, I don't know who brought you up in here, but I'm watching you. Yeah, okay. Paula Dean, give me something that you bring to a party. Well, y'all, our party's gotta have food, so I'm gonna bring my famous seven-layer cheese dip. That's cheese, then beans, then cheese, then farts, then beans and cheese. <laughs> Man, you like if Michelle Obama had an opposite person. <laughs> Show me. Bring some extra Febreze. <laughs> Sorry, two strikes on the Roger Goodell. Something you bring to a party. Oh, I love to party. Just you and a dozen lawyers in a luxury box. Just getting turnt. Turnt up. Yeah, that's a great answer. And on behalf of all the players in the NFL, this is dedicated to you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Patriots fans got a chance to steal something that you take to a party. Give me some answers. Uh, Words. Puzzle. Hoodies. Um, Hoodies, okay. maybe. Great answers there, but Giselle, it's up to you. What do you take to a party? Steve, a party is being together. I'll say the beautiful spirit of togetherness that makes us all part of the tapestry of humanity. <laughs> okay. Show me some nonsense. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> My Lord, how did that happen? <laughs> but, uh, Bill Belichick, did you hack the board? <laughs> oh, you sneaky old fool. Let's go to commercial. When we come back, I'll tell you the name of the tiny little elf who hides in my mustache. I'll see y'all later. Oh, man. Super Bowl specials. We got a nacho bar, hot wings, two for one PBRs, and my wife's brother's band's gonna play some music. What? Hello, excuse me, everyone. Hello. Hello. Can we have your attention, please? Do you mind with the fingerlings? And I know your game is starting soon, but we've got a few minutes. We're gonna play some music for you. That's right. A special thank you to my brother in law, Patrick, for letting us use this place. Thank you. Oh, come on! Now, look, you're not going to miss any of your big game, we promise. Yeah, maybe a few minutes, that's all. A few minutes at the most. I'm sure you can be big boys and appreciate what we yes. do. Yes, shall we? This song was inspired by the Super Bowl, you know. Here we go. <laughs> Standing in the motel room, looking out at the neon lights. Your fingers traced my lips as we drove through the Paris night <laughs> Weeping in the pouring rain with blue mascara running down my face Dancing with my trousers off I bet it's going but late. All I can say is embrace me Embrace me under the neon lights, embrace me. 
know that feeling, fellas. You shut up! The game is starting! Now shut it, Green Bay! I'm gonna switch this off no, so you all can focus. Hey, hey, come on! Please be patient. This is the visual portion of our show. Listen, we're not being rude to you, so there's no reason to raise your voices at us. This is about the Super Bowl anyway, isn't it? That's right, it's about the Super Bowl. Smearing my lipstick on the bedroom mirror while I cry about you. Lipstick? <laughs> Traipsing through the streets of Rome with sparkles in my head. All I can say is embrace me. Embrace me. Under the neon lights, embrace me. Game is starting right now. Patrick, shut them off. Come I'm, on. I'm sorry. I promised my wife they'll be done soon. Pat, please. You know, the longer you carry on like that, the more of the game you're going to miss. Let's hear you all embrace me. Come on, for the Pat. No. Embrace me. Under the neon lights, embrace me. Under the neon lights, embrace me. We mean it. Yeah. Has everyone gone, then? Yeah. Well, the drink's too expensive. No, it was more about you guys. Did you... Did, did I like the song? Did you, did you like the song? No! Even a little tiny bit. Tiny yeah. bit. Yeah. Tiny bit, tiny bit, there it is. Well, you know, there come on up here. Embrace me. Under the neon lights, embrace me. <laughs> The Super Bowl is tomorrow night, and here with her predictions for the big game is the one-dimensional female character from a male-driven comedy. Uh, welcome back, Heather. It's me, Heather, from work. You might not have noticed me, but when you're making jokes with your friends during the meetings, I'm the one in the back going... <sighs> okay. Uh, so, for a one-dimensional female character, I hear you're actually a pretty big football fan. I know. It's pretty confusing, right? I'm a girl, but I'm also hot, but I also like sports. It's why I'm in this cute girl jersey. And tonight, I'm gonna walk in front of my stainless steel refrigerator and just this and no pants. That's how much I like sports. <laughs> okay, great. So, do you have any predictions on the score? Fine. I'll go out with you. But I'll probably get annoyed with you halfway through dinner and leave. You really need to grow up. I do? You're one to talk. Do you even remember Megan's lunch party? You were so wasted. You made a fool of yourself. Well, I was in the back in an $8,000 dress. My face was like this all night. <laughs> you need to grow up. OK, so what do you think? Like Seahawks, Patriots? All right, the truth. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're pregnant? You just can't tell from looking at my body from the front or the back or in a bikini. My body just doesn't show it, ever, and it never will. <laughs> Sorry I'm so complicated. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, just like you missed Lamaze class, because you decided to get thrown into a country jail for streaking with your friends. Fat Jerry and horny one. Is anyone following this? Remember? <laughs> you called me from jail, and I said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Heather, I have no idea what you're talking about. Nice try, Colin. Run away like you always do. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? I actually thought you'd be excited about this. God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Heather, I'm utterly baffled by what's going on right now, but I promise I had no intention of making you cry. Wow. <laughs> You really have changed. You've grown up a lot. When? I guess my sassy gay friend was right about you. He said, girl, that guy is fierce. And here, queen didn't lie. Here, do you want to hold your baby? He has your eyes and your face. Oh my god, I'm a dad. I mean, I have so much to teach my child. Wait a second, is this the baby from American Sniper? I know, confusing, right? The one-dimensional female character from a male-driven comedy. Okay.